That kinda makes sense. Okay, I'm sorry. I just got random thoughts. But I still might be alive. This is like uh, basically the third truth. This is the obvious conclusion. Yes, we had this conclusion before as well. There's too many truths. <laughs> we are like suddenly going back to Emzaki. Okay, she already established that this is the truth for the her. past episode from other side of the coin. Who's Ben Castle in real world? What if episode 7 is written by Eva? Hello and welcome Pocket Watch here and it's about time for another episode of Umineko Chiru. So yeah, we're going to continue the story with the little annoying Angel. Oh my god, please help me. Leave your likes, your support is really appreciated, especially in these episodes. <laughs> Anyway, let's go and let's hope that I will not be as annoyed with Enja as I've been last time. <laughs> also, the thing I've been annoyed outside, it's, it was outside of Umineko, actually. That was in Little Busters in Kanata Road. But there, I was annoyed in kind of like good way. I don't feel like I'm annoyed in a good way for Enja. I don't know. Let's go. Because Angela had gotten so bored, she had grown very sleepy. It would probably be best for her to take a quick nap. Yeah, clear your mind. Butler walked uh, through the windy rose garden, pulling her by the hand. I questioned the guide Genji, he learned that the old servant had known beforehand of Kinzo desire to return the gold to Beato. Oh, okay, the old servant time, you mean Kinzo, okay, makes sense. Uh, for Genji, blah, yeah. And settled the inheritance problem yearly. Good. Also, if, like, because... Hmm. I have, like, new theory, I think, maybe. Or maybe not. I mean... I'm, st I'm thinking about the games, like, as the letters and the stories, right? Like, first games were like these, like, bottles written by Beato, the mystery stories. We don't know the truth. We don't know if, like, we know nothing about characters, really. It's what uh, Beato knew about characters, what she thinks about characters. Um, But then now is like, Butler who's, like, showing the story. So, does it mean that Butler somehow survived or something? I mean... If you think about this from like logical standpoint, right, then Beato saying her story in episodes 1 to 4 makes sense because she already left the letters and the story behind. I don't think Butler left the story behind when he was on Rock and Jim, I know. Unless he did. God damn it, this is Catbox. If you think about this, he could like write together a story of Rock and Jima with Shannon and then throw his own bottle into the ocean. And maybe we are reading this. You, know, you, you get what I mean, right? Like, why we have Butler saying his story? He's either wrote it beforehand or he's alive and we are seeing like what he's like reading or something. But they all died. Or maybe not. Maybe if I not, don't know that he survived. Huh. Okay. Random fault. I'm sorry. I, I almost like butchered the episode in the beginning. Okay. Let's just continue. Okay. I just like got stumbled into some thoughts about like story writing in Umineko. Because Butler's story is kind of weird? Huh. I'm not sure how to... Like... What take? What take to get take on this? Yeah. 
今日は後ろ宮家が黄金の魔女の庇護から飛び立つ新しい秘書の日なのでございます。確かに<笑>かっこいい言い方だな。Apparently, a grand Halloween party was to be held tonight in the chapel, maybe? And Goda and the others had been ordered to start getting ready for it. Small bombs? However, it wouldn't just be a party, it would be a slaughter. Okay, never mind, it would be a ceremony to mark the return of the gold of Beatrice Gold. At the start of dinner, Grandfather would make the announcement, and the Ushermia family would give thanks and applause to the three generations of Beatrices. For their generosity over the years. Apparently, this was what he had planned. Yeah, but why are you saying this to Butler? Okay, so it's like common knowledge at this point? きょうという日について考えを重ねられ。とおそらく今宵の発表に驚かれる方はいないでしょう。え、ちのくそ親父。どうやら会社のことで金の工面が大変そうだし。じいさまからのちょいと早い遺産のプレゼントに舞い上が
Termila entrance? Okay. Because of the massive size of the Kojima explosion incident. Wait, isn't this the soundtrack that was like. banned on like PS3 version? Because it's like from. Um, Star Trek or something? Wasn't that one? So this is going to be copyrighted, right? Because of the massive size of the Rokinjama explosion incident, accident, the time the explosion occurred was known almost exactly down to the minute. The time was the stroke of midnight, October 5th. Yeah, this is true. The sheer improbability of the time for the explosions produced by the artificial means. Later on, the following statement were collected from individual individu individuals who knew Ushiro Miyakinzo we uh, when he was alive. During his lifetime, Ushiro Miyakinzo built a clock rigged to blow up the island at exactly midnight. Okay, they got pretty accurate like info. This is like surprising. This clock was permanently inside his uh, secret uh, study when he felt mentally cornered and wanted to think of a brilliant plan. He would activate the device and use the tension of the approaching midnight to bring some flash of inspiration to him. Okay, I'm sorry. I just got random thought. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> About the games. Like I said, like, what if, like, Butter is alive? He cannot be alive. I mean, uh, wait, what I want to say, there was like something that didn't fit like early episodes for me. Uh, what do I wanted to say? Butler in early episodes, he's fighting against Beato. And these are the Beato stories. So it might be actually it might be that the butler reads Beato Beato letters and he tries to figure out the things. Yeah, okay, never mind. Butler still might be alive. It's like I don't know how there's like no like every evidence is like telling that butler is dead. But like from circumstances and like who should like See these stories? Beato is fighting Butler, which is technically analogy to like reading the story and deciphering it. And if Beato fighting Butler, then Butler is the one who's like deciphering the story of Beato. I don't know. Okay. I think I, I think I made this like more complicated than it is. As usual. This clock was apparently inside his secret study. When he felt mentally cornered and wanted to think up a brilliant plan, he would activate the device and use the tension of the approaching midnight to bring some flash of inspiration to him. Okay, this is dangerous. Well, Shima Kinzo still lived. Uh, this was only thought of as a tale. Uh, about uh, this eccentric man. I wonder if he would like really blow up himself if he didn't like find like any an idea. But the fact that the Rokinjima explosion accident occurred exactly at the midnight supported the story. Oh, we're back to this guy. Okay. I remember, like, there was something, I don't remember what, but there was something in my theories about him. Like, there was, like, one race, I think, something he showed that I used in my theories. But I forgot what the fuck that was. He was kind of relevant. Like, his story. It was something about letters. Oh, well, maybe some new things will happen. Mm -hmm. This story, again, the story isn't that difficult to swallow. Like, you make a story that is like 
Probably right, but you don't know. Professor Otsuki spoke passionately. Witch hunters. Enthusiasts who treat the mad fantasy surrounding Krokojima as their plaything. Angel had no reason to love these people who embellished the deaths of her family just for the fun of it. And yet, how ironic it was for Angel, who wanted to know what happened that day, that uh, these people were the only ones who knew most about that island. They think they know about it. But that, that, that one they got correct, okay. なかったことにできる。後宮エバチが何がしかの陰謀の首謀者であるとする説は早くしかし、あれだけの大爆発をいかにして起こしたのかが説明できずにいました。いや。その仕掛け時計により、それが可能であったことが証明されました。いや、
Oh my god! I mean, this relationship here, that was like, this was actually really sad. This is like, enter thought process is kind of annoying, but this is sad at the same time. Like how it like developed like Eva from caring and stuff into like hatred. This is sick. I asked her several times what happened that day. Uh, yep, and she don't want to tell you. Obviously. Every single time she answered, it was to say that she didn't remember. But well, she must have been frustrated at the time. The first, first time I asked, she answered like this. I can't tell you about it. It was a slip of the tongue. She knew what had happened that day. Yeah. And she left this world without telling even a bit of the truth. She sealed the truth in the cut box. Yep, that's why you can believe whatever you want, Angel. I'm still annoyed that you want to believe in, like, massacre. I know it's a truth because of what Burns showed us. But I'm still annoyed that she's, like, not even, like, recognizing what Butler is doing here for her. And left uh, the sword uh, taking the key with her. There can only be one answer. She was behind everything. Oh my god. She got all the family wealth to herself and became super rich. And after she lamented the fact that her beloved son would never inherit any of what she had created. And she cursed me. Just remembering that old bitch makes me want to vomit. Okay. And the being Fierce. What happened that day? That's what I want to know. It's my only goal, the only reason I'm still alive. However, later on, I had to come to grip the gri uh, grips with the facts that my goal was an abstract one. After all, even if I don't know what happened that day, as for who did the crime, the who do it, this is already clear. God fucking. Okay, calm down. From a logical standpoint, from what they know, what Engine knows, from the limited information that she has, this is the obvious conclusion. Yes, we had this conclusion before as well. Okay, I'm going to calm down and not be angry at her. She's a culprit. And it's never changed since the beginning. Yep. I'm not trying to find out what happened that day. I'm trying to find out what Ushinomiya Eva did that day. That's the difference. See? This is the difference. She thinks she knows the truth. But this is a contradiction to like what Berncastle showed her. It's like... She already forgot what Bear Castle showed her. Like, what the fuck? Why we even have this conversation? Bear Castle showed her, like, what happened on Rock and Jima and told in red that this is the truth. And she just, like, decided to just, like, no, not gonna happen. Eva is the culprit. I mean, I guess it makes sense because she don't want to, like, blame her parents. So she technically chose the other truth already? Like, she's not like choosing the truth, the truth. Even though she claims she wants to know the truth. She chose the truth that is better for her. In her eyes. And also not choosing the truth. From Butler truth. Because this truth is too happy truth. There's too many truths. I can reveal that, and I can expose Eva's evil, and uh, though she had already died, that is my true goal. Yeah, that's bad. Maybe that's why I'm annoyed. Maybe that's why I'm annoyed, because she already made a culprit by, her, by herself. I mean, we all made a culprit by our own while reading Umineko. We made furies, and we made culprits out of people who are not the culprits. Okay, I I guess I should like 
Okay, okay. It pains me. It just pains me. Maybe because I know better, not not better, uh, more stuff than NJ. Because NJ didn't like, I don't know, had like meta world experience. I don't know. The police also suspected that the crime might have taken place and they did investigate. However, no matter how much they inspected, the crater had once been Rokanjima. They didn't find anything at all. The public and the witch hunters cornered Eva with several pieces of circumstantial evidence, but they were unable to find a single piece of physical evidence. And so, though Eva was only the merest fraction of a shade away from guilty, they were una unable to expose her crime. Basically the same as I did before. Like, I had like some ideas that I used only circumstantial evidence when I had like no physical evidence in, in Umineko. It just like made sense out of like characters. So I can understand like from what point they're going actually. My goal isn't as vague as learning what happened that day. It's to expose the crime Ushiremia Eva committed that day and to have my revenge. E NJ, you have no love. Without love it can't be seen. Come on. I can expose Ushiremia Eva crime. So people, people are treated, the events on the island, as though some bizarre golden witch did it all. <laughs> the guy, like, I forgot his name, the one that said without love it can't be seen. Uh... He told her in episode 4 that depending on what you think about Eva, you can see the, other, the different truth. So if Angel like, change her mind somehow, she may see the other truth. Maybe more painful. But yeah, I guess, like, no one wants to be, like, in pain. So she chose the thing that is, like, less painful for her. Instead of like believing, you know, hey, my parents just like murdered everyone. Defeating the Golden Wish means exposing Kushimi Eva crime for what it was. I won't forgive Kushimi Eva. I swear, I swear. I will hate her and take revenge for my family. Oh my god. So. This is Kushimi NJ1 and only reason for leaving. Oh my god. We are suddenly going back to Emzaki, okay. That's... that's sudden. Been a while. Whew! Sore dake kirawari dia, kaichou mo ano yo de warai ga tomara ne de shou ze. Urusai wa ne. So we are still... that's so... we are back. In the timeline when we... timeline where we are still on the road. To Rokenjima. I think this is taking the place right after Amakusa had the phone call with the guy. Well, you just uh, contradicted, contradicted yourself. You just said you will expose the crime. And that you will never accept that she blew evidence and committed perfect crime. So basically, you will never accept that she committed the perfect crime. So she did not make a crime? Well, that sucks. I have a problem with this. Oh, yeah? Okay, the, the, I just got a flashback from episode 4. He said that's the same thing in episode 4. Amakasa turned the radio off. The dull sound of the engine became a background music that filled the car. Great. Okay. あんた、
家族の敵を取るために体に爆弾を巻きつけて自爆するやつだっている。ダーン人は敵を取るために体に爆弾を巻きつけて自爆するやつだっている。ダーン人は敵を取るために体に爆弾を巻きつけて自爆するやつだっている。The only person you would like to blow up is Eva at this point, and she's dead. So, yeah. Also, you are going to be attacked on Rokenjima, as we learned from the previous tea party, with Amakusa having a phone call with the guy in red shirt. I'm sorry, I forgot his name. Yep, that sucks as fuck. So, this is the one who is a man 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 who is a 復讐は生きる目的になりますそして兵士になれるほどの力も与えます親の亡きにすがって泣くことしかできなかった少女が一夜にして兵士に生まれ変われるほどの奇跡を見せてくれる復讐ってやつほどパワーを与えてくれるものはありませんぜ What about love? そうでしょうねそれがまさに私だ少年兵問題ってのをご存知で知らないわ銃を与えられ復讐の仕方を習った少年兵はそれを生きる目的とします。Yeah, that's what I'm concerned as well. Because they take revenge as the reason for leaving. But what if they finalize their revenge? Reve if they fi finish their revenge, then there's no reason for leaving. So that's why living for revenge is really fucked up, sad, and bad thing. Because it's basically your end goal. Like, you need to find out something new after this. Like, this is not the answer. This is like the most like, fucked up and wrong thing ever. Yeah. Well, sometimes you just cannot and you just want the revenge because of how frustrated, how sad, and how. What happens to you, but it's still like making this like the whole reason for your living, like without thinking about future. This is still like fucked up, like mindset. I know that, like, sometimes I guess you just cannot think otherwise because not everyone can, like, I don't know, like forgive or something, but still, you see, this is like the very bad concept. So, Leo. しし Or that. The revenge is something that never ends. That is also true, because if you kill someone, or. Yeah, I guess we are talking about killing. Kill someone, then that someone, someone from like their family would like to revenge on you, so he kills someone from your family, then you kill someone from his family, and that's the, like. Endless circle of like revenge and hatred. This is fucked up. Itsushika, you will no need to use the gun to kill him. This. Do you mean? Fukushima no time to use the gun. So the gun is useless. No use to use the gun. Fukushima will forget about it. No use to use the gun. Yeah, I forgot the name of 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 the gun. そして手元には銃しかないやがて飯を食うために銃を撃つようになる復讐のために銃を取った少年兵はやがて野党か何かになり果てる、uh -huh. 何しろ学校にも通わず食も学ばせてもらわなかった連中です They only learned how to shoot guns and they were only ever prized when they killed the enemy やがて自分の生きる目的は復讐のためでなくその手段のためだけになり果てていく気の毒なことです
私もやがては復讐に疲れ果てて。Well, you basically cannot like really prove what you want to prove, so you have no way. I mean, you don't know yet about this, I guess, but you have no way of like finding out what you want to find out. So yeah. えっと、私の場合だと何だってのよ。真実を暴くことに疲れ果てお嬢はやがて後ろ見やエヴァを憎むだけの人生になり果てた Man, that's already happening if you think about this Pride to expose the truth It's like already what happened, what she just said She don't care about exposing the truth She only cares about like hate with Eva and to expose what she did She already established that this is the truth for her She is, she's already in that state すでにそうだけど Yeah, us two already. <laughs> so he ever saw this. I'm not sure what Amakusa is trying to say. Probably something annoying. You are annoying. So I'm not interested. Fixunante could have an eye cotta. So he tied the show. Oh, Joe, no jinsu, or Madame, Madame Nanai. Nan that the deki to Wakasa. So no kichuna Wakasa, three years in you. ちょいとこの旅はもったいねえんじゃねえか余計なお世話よ私ねほら飛び降りたでしょ見るからせっかく九死に一生を得たってのに yeah. Yeah, that was a miracle. Yeah. <笑>あの時ね私は死んだのよだから私はもう亡霊ってわけ家族の敵を討つためにあの日の真実を暴くことだけを目的としたねやれやれお嬢は大した鉄の意志をお持ちだあんたみたいな軽薄な男に私の気持ちなんてわからないわよ I wonder if like God damn it but episode 1 to 4 is Butler vs Beato it must be Butler who's reading this God damn it It's still bothering me. Like, who's reading these stories? We know that Angel. I mean, Angel read the stories. Maybe, yeah. Maybe episode 1 to 4 were already read、uh, by Angel, but we learned about that she read them only in episode、uh, 6. Right? Because in episode 6, we had the first time Federine, and Angel had to read.、Uh, The full stories, like、uh, one to four, I believe, right? It was episode six. Or did she read them before? Anyway, it's like a timeline, you know? Like, we have Angel reading episodes one to four, and then we get to see, like, in the future episode, the past episode from the other side of the coin, you know? Like, from the real world when she's, like, reading this. Right? That could be the case? Maybe? <laughs> After that, Amakusa was forced to shut his mouth. He shrugged, but Angel didn't see. Even so, Amakusa spoke once more. Ojo to Kono Tabio Hajimeta Ichiban Saishono Hi. Ojo wa Yimashita. Ano Hi, Ano Shima de Nani ga atta ka shiri taito. Yep, and that's not longer the case. See? That's what I. Keep telling, like she don't care about finding the truth anymore. She's not like researching. She's like, she's just like, yep, she did it. I'm going to hate her. I'm going to just like expose her. Yep. That's that's not the same answer. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh my god, I'm so annoyed with her. Ah.、Oh. Yeah, this is extremely different. You had already established the end of the story. You don't care about what happened. You only cared what happened to make this end. No. God fucking damn it. Yeah, probably for the better. Eh? I wasn't particularly tired, really. I just said that because I didn't like、uh, talking about this. Oh my god, I want her to like open her fucking eyes and just like 
just go back into like finally searching like what is the truth i don't like her going into conclusions like this i can i see and understand this why she gets this outcome why she hates eva because that's like the logical reasoning she can get from all the information that she has but it's still frustrating to read but I understand, yes, I know, I know, but I still cannot help myself. Is it just me? Can you let me know in the comments? Is it just me that I understand why she go in with this conclusion, but is still annoying by this? I cannot be the only one, right? Enjoy who decided to feign sleep, ignored him. But Amakusa kept talking. He wanted to make sure she heard at least this much. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, literally impossible. That's why it's a cut box. I know. Also, now I think about this. What is the... How did they learn the truth? Like, what the fuck is Red's truth, basically? Like, the story that Berncastle told us in episode 7 and said in Red that this is the truth. Like, who read that story? Who wrote this story? Who's Berncastle in real world? How do how she knows what happened on Rock and Jima? How she can present the truth? How can she present this to Angel? Like there's like so many questions that doesn't like fucking make sense. There's someone who knows the truth about like Rudolf and Kiri killing everyone, unless this is another like truth quote quote that is like not real truth. Because we don't know what the truth is, but she said this in red. But once again, what really is the red? Like, in real life you cannot like speak in red, so... What? Red seems to be like something that you... Say like for truth, that this is like real. When can you use it? When you as the person... Know... That the thing actually happened. But you cannot tell this to others. In like writing or reading. You can just make them like want to be like you, you can just like say something in red and uh, believe that they believe it's true. If you think about this. You cannot really use red in real life. I'm stuck. Okay, okay. This is, I don't know why, but this episode is like triggering like massive like brainstorm in my head. I'm starting to thinking about like so many weird fucking shit. Uh. Okay, okay. I think I will need like some discussions, in comments, and on Discord. The police searched the scene so fruitfully just after the crime, and even they weren't able to find any physical evidence proving that Ushima Eva was the culprit. What if red truths are the truths from Eva? What if episode 7 is written by Eva? Eva knows the truth. Eva never told anyone. And red is said by the specific person who knows the truth. So, what Berncaster is showing us is the truth told by Eva. Maybe she had a letter hidden somewhere or something. And fi someone find it. And just like episode 1 to 4 are read by someone, episode 6 is read by someone in the future and we still don't know who it is. Maybe they find the letter from Eva later. That's why it's said in red that this is the truth. 
because Eva knows what happens and she never told anyone. Okay, that's the newest theory. But who's Bern then? Is Bern Eva? That's impossible. Does Eva have a cat? And the full 12 years uh, have passed since then. Uh, if the truth could be discovered by the girl like me, waving wads of cash around to pick up a, a bit uh, of info of those who were uh, somehow related to the incident, then someone would have exposed the truth long ago. I might not be able to reach the truth. If so, then my first desire to expose the truth will probably fade away. After that, only my hatred for Eva will remain. Just like the child soldiers who forget their original purpose to li and live just to shoot. I will forget my original purpose and live just to hate. Yeah, that's pretty much what's happening. And for all my hate for Ofushime Eva, my revenge of exposing the truth will have been foiled. But I will go on hating her anyway. And that will become all there is to my life. Is there any difference between shooting for revenge and shooting to live? Yes? Like... What is this question? When I put the trigger, someone dies either way. Yes? I mean... Okay, this is a complicated topic, okay? Killing is always killing. So, shooting is always shooting. It's always bad and it's always, like, unforgivable. But, like, the reason, like, the reason itself, like, revenge and to leave are two separate things. But the general concept is always the same. It's very, like, you know, hard, like, talk. But yeah, basically, there's like no difference, but there's also a difference. And what about my case? Is there any difference between hating Kiva as I expose the truth and hating Kiva after I've given up? There's no difference. You still end, uh, end up hating, yeah. In the end, whether I find the truth or not, I just keep on uh, cursing Kiva over and over until I die. And if you would like to get like more like you know talk about this thing about is it the same is it not the same what's the purpose what's the like you know is it the same for revenge or love for love or not and stuff like this like whole complicated concept you can check my muramasa let's play I guarantee that you will be on the right. Holy shit. What a crappy life. But now, that's all I have left. Ushimiya Eva sold my family. Also, I will link the Muramasa in the description in case if you would like to re watch it and read it. So I will take revenge by exposing her crimes and showing the world my consciousness was slowly drifting away into sleep. Why is any chance showing me such a bizarre Rokenjima? Because he loves you. Because he loves you, Enje. Why you can't understand this? <sighs> so yeah, that's it for the episode for today. Uh, I understand why Angel have these thoughts, why she came into this conclusion. I understand, but it still pains me. I'm really afraid what will happen with Angel. I'm really afraid. Anyway, thank you for joining. I talked about theories and stuff. During the episode, I need to think some more after the episode. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. So thank you. So leave up a like if you like the episode. 
check my discord subscribe if you're not subscribed you can become a member if you would like to support me and you would like to see episodes of umineko earlier and yeah thank you everyone once again and i will see you in the next episodes of umineko chiru so for the pocket watch it's going out